I just got home today and look what was on my doorstep. 2200 PSI pressure washer with retractable hose reel by Giraffe Tools. I'm going to open this thing up and show you guys what's in the box. And uh, we'll look at a couple things that I've been wanting to see. How it mounts, uh, the quality of the hose itself, and uh, I guess a few other things that we'll check out and see how good the quality is, or at least my first impression of the quality. manual with some kind of little key. I don't know what that is for. Got all the fittings. Oh, that's pretty cool. It comes with the hardware to mount it as well, which is nice. So I wasn't expecting to get that. That's awesome. This is a, I guess they're foam cannon uh, top, the head to the foam cannon. I guess this is probably like uh, what they do for TVs and stuff, a level uh, for the mount and the mount to the wall. All the quick disconnect uh, heads. And this is pretty nice too. They gave us a hose adapter with a filter on it. Look how tiny that is. The foam cannon bottle, super small. Real small. Give you a size comparison. Pretty cute. Let me put it on real quick. No threads, just a lock in. Yeah, no thanks good. Got another one of these. We all know what I'm gonna do with that. Mod it out, put the bend in there. That'll come in handy. Okay, I'm gonna need to put this on the floor. things I wasn't expecting to get with this so it's basically a garden hose that you hook to the wall and then to the machine so obviously you're gonna try to mount it close to the spigot but here's the unit itself and that's all that was in the box On their Instagram or their website, they don't uh, they don't show you very well what the back looks like. I'm gonna bring you in closer in a minute and show you what the back looks like. This is the hose. It almost feels like uh, close to what comes with the Ryobi um, and quite a few other brands. This is like a very standard hose. It's a little stiffer than I would like, but uh, maybe some sometime down the road we can uh, swap that out for a different hose. That's one thing you'll uh, want to check out. All right, so I want to bring you guys in close, get a good look at how this all out, roll it there. This is one of the things 
I've been waiting to see. All right. So, four mounting holes. They can be slightly be adjusted. And they got it tied off on here. Let's see what it looks like. So, all right. So, it looks... Yeah, so you can basically just slide, mount this to the wall, and it'll slide on. So if you wanted to take it off, if you were in some kind of sketchy, if you live in a sketchy neighborhood, I guess, you could always take that off. Off the wall for the night, or maybe maybe you have like a business uh, where you have a warehouse, and you know, a lot of times warehouses aren't in the best of neighborhoods. You could uh, mount this outside. And this is all that will be on your wall. Pretty thick too. So that's pretty sturdy. And then just drop into this. I like that. I don't know if there's any way for them. Yeah, I don't know if there would be any way for me to uh, uh, lock this thing on once it's here. And I mean, like if you didn't want anyone to walk away with your machine or not, I'm sure there's got to be some way to do it, but. Get into that later, I guess. There's the spot for the foam cannon, and then the other spot for the wand. Now, the real question is it 15 millimeter on this, or is it 14 millimeter? I'm gonna grab something and we'll find out what the threads are and everything. And there's the on and off. So everything looks pretty good. Seems decently rugged. That's the first view of it. So I'll get back, do a little more videoing in a second. Okay, folks, this is gonna be a 14 millimeter. This one's a 15, as you can see, slides on very easy 14 not so much o-ring is going to grab i like to put a little liquid on there push it on and you see how it slides that's not coming off so go ahead and thread it down and then we'll get a wrench and tighten it down but just so everyone knows it's a 14 millimeter, not a 15. And it's a you know, M22 threads, I believe. But that's a uh, good look in case you guys are gonna order one of these and all you have is 15 from your old pressure washers or that's all you got from your new ones, whatever the case is. But this is what you're gonna want. All right, guys. Just got out of work. It's a 1022. Trying to knock this out before uh, it gets too late for anybody to hear and drilling and stuff like that. My neighbors are up pretty late, so I'm probably cool with them. Um, this is the mount that it would normally mount to the wall. I'm not going to use this just by itself. I had a uh, buddy of mine make this. Shout out to Ken Fabworks. Um, but this is a, a hinged mount, so I will be able to have it's going to go on this way. We mounted to the wall here where my old hose hanger was. So I mount it there, and this is how it'll sit most of the time when I'm ready to use it. Swing it out and be able to use it in the front yard because this is my side, the side of my house. So hopefully this will work out for me, guys, uh, and I'm going to keep you uh, up to date on what I'm doing. All right, thank you. So, it's mounted, um, I just put it on, 
actually swings really easy. Um, we're probably going to put some kind of pin in here to lock it into place. Um, but basically, that's the whole point. So I'm going to have this hose always ran through the fence right over here. So once I have that done, I will be able to just pull it like this. I'll reach through the fence, pull it. I can shut it on and off through the fence. I have a big enough hole to hit the switch. And then that's it. And then right down here is the water uh, uh, let me turn this a little bit. Everything can be seen. Um, so right around, right there, is where I can reach my arm in uh, to hit the power switch right here. And then that's how I turn on my water as well. So there's the spigot head. And I'm going to put a piece of Delron in one of these triangles, or four pieces. I'm going to cut it just so it makes it real smooth. So Delron's like a plastic. Um, so then when this runs through, everything is nice and slick. So we don't get any rub or ruin the hose. So the ball part of the hose will be on the outside of the fence at all times. So basically, let's see, let's just call it this one here. And then this will be outside right in here. I don't know if you guys can see that section or not. But, uh, zoom you in a little bit. Alright. So right in this area, if this is the one I pick, this will be the uh, Delron rods. So basically I'm just going to make a triangle or a diamond and that'll sit in there and then when I pull, it'll pull from there. So hopefully that one will work and hopefully we're not too close. The whole the unit might need to be moved back, but we'll see. I try to use the holes that were already in place back here so you can uh, see I only used three to mount it because the hose hanger had four holes but it would have been way too close so that's why I did it like this so if I have to re-drill something I mean I'll may have to move it back six maybe eight inches but I wanted to make it to where I can hit it without doing uh, hit the power switch so we will see how it works but that's that's the gist so let me know what you guys think and uh, I'll try to do something in the light tomorrow because it's pretty dark right now and the light I was using went out but there it is back on for the moments that it will be on but I think it's a pretty cool idea and like I said we put a uh, some kind of stop pin back here or something I don't know I might not even need it so we'll see maybe just a uh, a rubber stop on the wall so when this swings out, actually, that's about as far as it's going. It doesn't seem like it's going. Maybe the hinges are stopping it, but yeah, anyway, either way, maybe a rubber stop, just to bump it, boom, and that's it. So we'll see what it looks like uh, tomorrow or the next day in the light. Well, well, boys and girls. We've waited a lot longer than I wanted to. I've been waiting on Joey to get this video done. Uh, he just doesn't seem to have the time to get over here and uh, make it happen. I've had this pressure washer for about three months now. It's the giraffe pressure washer with the hose reel built in. Pretty cool. I can already tell you some things I don't like. Uh, I don't like how loud it is. You're going to see that in a second. It's about as loud as a Ryobi, uh, if anyone's familiar with those. So I don't care for that. And uh, it takes a little longer. Uh, to shut off, but I think that's because of the length of the hose. It's a 100 foot hose, so there's nothing really we can do about that. And the second thing is the actual hose itself. At first, I didn't think it was that bad, um, but it will kink pretty easily. So I'm going to see if we can swap that out or not. I don't know yet, um, but we'll find out. But it, it feels good. I like, I do like the hoses that are a little slicker with uh, without the rubbery texture. They're easier to clean off while you're feeding it back into the reel. But that's neither here nor there right now. What I wanted to show you guys was the uh, pressure that we're getting. This is with their tips. I'm going to start off with the uh, 15 degree tip. And uh, we're going to see what we're getting. So, and you're going to get to hear the sound. So, you ready?
So we're just under 1300 PSI. This uh, pressure washer claims to be uh, 2200 PSI. So now we got the, what is this, 40 degree? Yep, it's a 40 degree. So. So it was the same thing, but if you guys notice, once I let go of the trigger, it uh, spikes to almost 2,000 PSI. So that's kind of weird. Um, so you can bump up the PSI if you use a Ryobi tip. So we're at about 1,700 PSI. Uh, that's not too bad. Um, obviously something that's gonna say that they're gonna give you 2,200. Uh, 17 isn't good, but 17 is a good pressure, I think. Um, and I moved the ball too, a little closer, so when I do let this go back in the fence, uh, it'll, this, just the tip of this, uh, this part will be hanging out. I can take the gun off and I'll take this, obviously this, uh, pressure gauge off. But that's all that'll be hanging out. I can reach the fence. I can uh, push it back against the wall where I'm going to keep it. And I can turn it on and off. And I can also reach the uh, spigot. But the uh, pressure washer does pretty decent. I've washed a few cars with it. So I can't really complain on the performance. Performance is, like I said, about the standard of most electric pressure washers. The Ryobi, the Greenworks, the Husqvarna I got. Uh, I like the Husqvarna because it's the most quiet, um, but this is on the side of the house on purpose because I wash the cars over here, detail them over there, and hopefully it'll be a little quiet before me. The other one was on the cart with the Husqvarna, but the Husqvarna is a real good one, especially for the price. You get it at Costco for, I think, sometimes they have it on sale for like 160 somewhere around there. Uh, I think they're like normally like 180 or something. Don't quote me on that. Check out Costco's website. But um, we're going to get to working on the car and you guys can see what it does, which I don't know how much you care about that, but the main part is having the hose reel. So I'm going to have to get some kind of stop as well to hold it right here. But that's why I put this plastic around the fence so it doesn't scratch up the hose. But as you can see, it'll pull back in. So you can feed the hose back in and then when you're ready to use it, you just pull it out and it'll catch and then you don't have to hold it anymore. So, I'm gonna get to uh, working on the car. You guys get to see that, and maybe I'll do some more uh, videos about how it's all set up. All right, guys. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna foam the Zymol first, then the chemical guys, and then the middle's gonna be the water. Let's do it.
bring you in real quick. Let me show you the other side since I didn't get a uh, first view. So I'll show you the other side of the front. Uh, but it came out pretty darn clean. You could see it when I was washing. It was just coming straight off of here. Barrels are clean. They weren't horrible, but I'll show you the other side. Yeah, that's where you could see it coming off on the other side. So then they weren't horrible, but they haven't been touched in about two and a half weeks. 